Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Beer Geek Nation. I'm your host, Chris. Thank you so much for joining me once again. Tonight, I am reviewing a beer I have wanted to review for the longest time. This has always been one I could never get around me. This, my friends, is Ale Smith's IPA, coming in at 7.5% alcohol by volume available year-round um, out on the west coast and it just started coming into the philly market so yay i can finally get it and i gotta give big thanks to ben for picking this one up while he was out there um, so i'm looking forward to this one to bottle conditioned west coast ipa say no more let's get into a glass let me know i'll let you know how it smells tastes and give you the verdict on ale smith's ipa All right, guys, so the appearance on the Ale Smith IPA, just beautiful. Probably, like, my favorite style of beer to look at is a bottle-conditioned IPA. Um, there are always these beautiful golden oranges, hazy as hell. You can't see anything through them because of the bottle conditioning. There was a nice, probably two to three fingers, three fingers worth of a tight white, just beautiful white head on there. Um, dissipates really quick, quickly, nice lacing on it. Um, really no alcohol feet to speak of. Well, a little bit in there, but just an absolutely beautiful beautiful example of an IPA. All right guys, so the aroma on the IPA, massive, massive grapefruit in this one, followed by a really, really sweet caramel toffee malt backbone to it. Touch of alcohol in there and getting a, a pineapple juice coming through. Big astringent notes, it's got that dry west coast piney astringency in it. Yeah, it smells unbelievably fresh and like juicy and citrusy, just amazing smelling stuff. All right, so the taste on the Alesmith IPA. Cheers. Holy shit. That is a great beer. Wow. Um, from the tongue is a, a massive bitterness, followed almost immediately by a big, big fruity hoppiness, pineapple juice, grapefruit juice, pears, really, really almost overly ripe peaches, nice, nice malt backbone in there, caramel, toffee, a breadiness, help coat the mouth and kind of retain those hop flavors in your mouth. Super, super dry finish, almost like a, a white wine type of finish. Aftertastes are those big, malty backbone qualities coming through, caramel, kind of sweet toffee. Um, a lot of grapefruit coming back. Pineapple juice, big, big pineapple juice in this one. I love the mouthfeel on this. Carbonation is awesome. It's this soft, white, um, you know, carbonation um, because of the bottle conditioning there. It's like velvet smooth. Really, really helps to clean the palate, keep the beer moving along. Wow, just an amazingly complex IPA, but at the same time, it's just so brilliantly simple. It's really, really, really a great beer. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the Alesmith IPA, 7.5% available year-round where you can get Alesmith beers. Um, and I know in Philly, this one just started showing up, so <laughs> you can get it there now. Got to give this one an A+. Plus. This is probably in the top three, if not the top one or two IPAs I've had from the West Coast, definitely the top five I've had in the world. Um, absolutely amazing stuff, 7.5%, you don't taste that alcohol at all. It's amazingly drinkable, super, soupy, super hoppy and floral, lots of big fruit notes, pineapple, pears, peaches, grapefruit. There's a really, really nice big malt backbone in this one to help balance out those big um, kind of sweet and bitter fruit tastes in there. Nice dry finish, super drinkable, bottle conditioning helps to move the beer along. Just amazing, amazing stuff. And I would say definitely get it fresh if you can. Um, but with that said, guys, definitely check this one out if you've never had it or can get it. Um, definitely, definitely check it out. Get an A-plus from me. Remember, folks, life is too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.